yeah I just wanted to show you one buttonhole that turned out really well I'd like to show you is the red one um, as you can see here this red one it came out super super pretty I'm happier with this one compared to the other ones so obviously there's some flaws in it um, but it's much better and it's it's pretty challenging to make a buttonhole in a colorful thread on a pretty plain fabric like this gray right here and um, because basically when it's the same color you can, it's uh, you can hide a few more stitches let's say but when it's a bright color like this red it's pretty hard because it's super, super super exact and super precise um, with your stitching so I'm very happy with this one as you can see it's like it's a very very good buttonhole so I hope you're able to make buttonholes like this one right here as you can see these ones didn't turn out too good um, it is a challenge if you really want to learn how to make buttonholes I would recommend you start with <laughs> making them in a different colored thread um, than your fabric because then you're really going to see what your stitching looks like and if you can really master that then you're going to master all buttonholes and you're going to make the, the buttonholes you make on the fabric that's of the same color they're going to be magnificent magnificent so I super super recommend that for you and um, I hope you enjoyed watching me make buttonholes next up I will be making Milanese buttonholes um, those are super super special as well pretty unique those are the ones that you have literally on the top of your lapel and they're the ones that stand up a bit so they look like lips people say as well so stay tuned for the Milanese buttonhole um, I'm looking forward to show you how, how you do those and yeah I will see you next time bye